Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2021 Toyota Tundra SR5 double cab long bed with four-wheel drive and TRD off-road package, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2021 Toyota Tundra is the oldest truck in its class, but it's still a dutiful hauler and plenty capable when taken off the beaten path. Every model is powered by a 381 horsepower V8 that can tow up to 10,200 pounds. However, its powertrain suffers from a lazy transmission and poor fuel economy ratings. Although the 2021 Tundra looks and feels obsolete, it does come standard with a suite of driver assists that help it offset its aging design. For 2021, Toyota supplies the Tundra lineup with a new appearance package called Nightshade. It's only available on the Limited, and it includes black 20-inch rims, black exterior accents, and black leather upholstery. The new Trail Special Edition, of which only 5,000 will be made, is based on the SR5 Crew Cab called Crew Max and comes with all-weather floor mats, black exterior badging, and black upholstery with tan contrast stitching. The Trail Special Edition also features the same body color grille as the Top Tier Tundra 1794 Edition, a lockable storage unit in the cargo bed, and unique 18-inch wheels fitted with all-terrain tires. Even the fanciest Tundra can't match the luxury of mid-level Ram 1500 models. However, the Toyota's greatest virtue is its off-roading abilities, which are fully realized on the TRD Pro variant. While that model has the most capable suspension and a more distinct appearance, those aren't quite enough to warrant an investment over an F-150 Raptor. Instead, I choose the Tundra SR5 with the optional four-wheel drive system. Since the crew cab body style only pairs with the shortest five and a half foot cargo bed, I go with the double cab and the long bed option, which is the 8.1 foot bed. My example would also be equipped with a base TRD off-road package to improve the truck's ability to play in the dirt, mud, or sand. The improved off-road chops come courtesy of trail tune dampers, increased underbody protection, front tow hooks, and 18-inch wheels. In addition to those mechanical enhancements, the kit adds a larger 8-inch touchscreen. It also brings a larger fuel tank for a longer driving range and replaces the standard front bench seat with a pair of buckets and a center console. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Toyota Tundra. It's a full-size truck. Real quick, before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. Just a second ago in the overview, I mentioned the Ram 1500 and I mentioned the Ford F-150 Raptor. I've done build and price reviews of both of those vehicles. Those links are in the description below. I've also done a build and price of the 2019 Toyota Tundra Limited Crew Max 4x4. And I did the new Ram 1500 TRX. That's the 700 horsepower Ram 1500. Okay, so those links are also in the description below. So after you watch this video, check out a few of those other videos. Okay, let's check out the exterior colors for the 2021 Tundra. All right, this color here is called Luna Rock. And then this color here is Army Green. We've got smoked mesquite. It'd be cool if you could select your your bed option and your and your cab option and all that kind of stuff, so you get a more a better look at the one you want. But we get the idea. So here's the smoked mesquite. Uh, we've got the Barcelona red. We've got the wind chill pearl. We've got super white. Uh, we've got a silver. Call it silver sky. We've got the cement. We've got a magnetic gray. We've got a Midnight Black, we've got a Voodoo Blue, and then the color that it started on was, a, a what is that, Calvary Blue. Okay, so let's check out all the different configurations. There's looks to be six different trim levels, six different configurations of the 2021 Toyota Tundra. Your base model is the SR. It has a starting MSRP of $33,675, uh, $33, seat six people, your fuel economy, 13 city, 17 highway, 
you got the integrated backup camera. That's been standard in a car since like 08 or something. So they're not even saying anything. Then you've got the SR5. That's where we're going to build in price an option on the channel today. It has a starting price of 35365 You can get the available TRD off-road package. Uh, it comes with a Toyota Safety Sense, as they all do, and 18-inch wheels. So the SR doesn't come with uh, 18-inch wheels, and it doesn't open itself up to the TRD off-road package. Up the stream there, you got the Limited for 42390 It seats five. It gets the LED headlights, smart key system. Whoops. <laughs> You've got the Platinum here. The Platinum makes a nice hefty jump to 48895 This gets you into the perforated leather trimmed heated and ventilated front bucket seats. You get the premium audio and the dual zone climate control. Then you got the 1794 edition, which is the same price. And that just makes it, you know, you get the wood grain accents and all that. You get a larger fuel tank, a 38-gallon fuel tank with that. All of these vehicles get a 13, uh, they all have the same engine, right? That V8 that makes 381 horsepower, they all tow 10,200 pounds, and that's why they all have that 13 city, 17 highway fuel economy. At the very top, the most, ex well, it's not quite the most expensive, it's $100, a little bit, $120 cheaper than the Platinum in the 1794 edition. Uh, we have uh, coming in is the TRD Pro. All right, and that's uh, got the TRD tuned Fox suspension. This is the one that I was talking about in the overview that is the most off road capable. Is it an F 150 Raptor? No, but it's the most off road capable TRD Pro that you can get. All right, so we kind of already sort of checked out the the gallery images the exterior gallery or the exterior images anyway for the tundra for 2021 let's just go through them real quick we'll also be able to see some of the interior photos we're just going to race through them real fast the tundra hasn't changed a lot in several years so it's not like we need to check out all the new latest greatest exterior features there aren't any uh here they're showing definitely the 1794 edition right there on the interior trim here's the platinum edition you get a little uh, diamond stitching on the seats and everything like that. They're trying here. Uh, even though the Tundra is, is is a little bit long in the tooth compared to other uh, trucks, it's still awesome, especially when you see a huge lifted one. So I guess that was all the exterior and, and interior photos they were going to show us. So let's move on. All right, let's check out some of these features before we actually get to the build and price configurator and, and option out our SR5. So as we already know, the towing capacity is 10,200 pounds. Doesn't matter what trim level you get <clears throat> because they all have the same engine. Uh, standard towing package and available 1730-pound payload capacity. That's what you could throw into the bed. There's also that available 38-gallon fuel tank. Uh, which comes standard, I guess, on the 1794, which we learned just a second ago. Here's an integrated trailer brake controller and tra uh, uh, trailer sway control. Uh, so, yeah, this is an available feature. This is not standard. But I guess the, tra the, the trailer sway control is standard, right? The, it's the trailer brake controller, right, the integrated trailer brake controller that is not standard. That's an available feature there. Uh, so you got to just check that wording. Here they have a tow haul mode with a four uh, with a four seven pin connector there. All right. Uh, so we got all that stuff, and so that's all our capability features. But you can see up here they've got all these other uh, links up here: performance features, technology, utility, design, all that. So if we come down here to performance, yeah, here it is: the iForce 5.7 liter V8. They've been doing this motor for a minute. What's cool about that, you know, no, Toyota's not trying to innovate with the latest, greatest, not at this point anyway. I'm sure they're going to redesign this thing at some point. But the cool thing about the engine having been around for a long time is, you know, they probably have sorted out most of the issues. You're probably not going to have any real issues with this engine, and that's kind of cool. It's got a six-speed automatic transmission, and like I said, that standard tow package. Uh, what else do we have here? Active traction control. Uh, so models that are equipped with four-wheel drive can have this all right uh what else is there there's the automatic slip limited differential all right 
Uh, we've got the powerful front brakes. They're not really saying anything. All right, they're 13.9 inch brakes. Great. Uh, you got a massive ring gear. All right, so what they're telling you, they're, they're telling you, they're definitely giving you cool features and telling you about its performance and its utility. But they're not really saying a whole bunch because, you know, the, the truck's been around for a long time. So they're just kind of going with what they got. Here they're saying technology, integrated navigation. Cool. Available 8-inch high-resolution screen. Available 8-inch high-resolution screen. Right? Apple CarPlay compatibility. All right? There you go with that. You got Apple CarPlay. I don't see them say anything about Android Auto. Although here they have Amazon Alexa with a smartphone connection so you could do things like play your music check your weather you can even control uh smart home devices i suppose here's android auto right there that's cool uh what else we got here the multi-function or the multi-information display that's in your in uh, in the middle of your instrument cluster there and so it's customizable it's 4.2 inch uh, it gives you things like your odometer tripometer average fuel economy things like that uh, what else is there? There's an available smart key system uh, that lets you unlock the front doors without taking your key. So, right, keyless entry is what everybody else generally calls that. All right, let's learn about the utility features. Let's learn about the utility features. There's a center console, and it's actually huge. Uh, it has a 12-volt auxiliary power outlet. They don't say anything about USB ports or anything like that. Uh, you've got these fold-up rear seats, and you can see you can throw a whole bunch of stuff back there. Uh, yeah, the rear seats in the double cab and crew cab and crew max fold up instead of flat. All right, double cab and crew max only. Here they're showing the rear power window. That's an available feature, and that's cool. That's a Tundra class exclusive. Uh, here they got the deck rail system. We can see that all right here. Uh, each rated at, so it's got adjustable tie down cleats, blah, 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 that are rated at 220 pounds. And this deck rail system is an available, uh, an available option. It's not standard. All right. Let's look at the design features real quick. We already know about the Tundra Nightshade special edition package. Uh, what else is this? They're not really saying a whole bunch here. They're just talking about how, well, they're, at, they're saying a lot here, actually. They're telling you that they, that they got the powerful 5.7 liter V8 overbuilt drivetrain. Right. They're trying to let you know this is a tough truck. Even though it's not, you know, the most technologically advanced, I think the Tundras are quite nice. I love them, and I love a nice lifted Tundra when they're really tall. They look super awesome. They're built in America. Yes, they are. There's a 1794 edition. Uh, there's the Platinum's interior that looks super sweet. Here, they, of course, you got you can't talk about Toyota without talking about TRD, which stands for Toyota Racing Development. Here they're showing, it says standard on every Tundra TRD Pro anyway, these 18-inch BBS wheels. Uh, we're going to get the base model uh, or the entry-level off-road, TRD off-road package because they have several. Uh, and the, what package we're going to get is not going to come with these Fox shocks, I'm pretty sure. Uh, aluminum skid plate. Uh, a tuned dual exhaust, right? The Tundra Pro comes standard with that. Most of the stuff they're talking about is the Pro. Uh, rigid lights, that's cool. Those lights look super sweet. Leather trimmed interior. Okay, so that was all Tundra TRD Pro stuff. So yeah, that was all Tundra TRD Pro stuff we went through. Here they're talking about the Tundra TRD family. So Because like I said, there's other option packages. Look, they got the TRD Sport 20-inch wheels. They've got the TRD Sport Bilstein shocks. They're serious about the TRD stuff. Uh, anti, the Sport-tuned anti-sway bars. I mean, this it's cool stuff. Uh, TRD off-road 18-inch wheels. You got the Bilstein shocks. You got the skid plate. Here they're talking about what? They're connected services. So you got remote connect, which allows you to access vehicle uh, features like smart, you know, lock and unlock your doors. You can start and stop the engine, stuff like that. Here's a Wi-Fi that allows you to connect up to five devices. I'm not really into that because chances are this gentleman sitting on the back of his truck doesn't need Wi-Fi from his truck because his phone probably has a hotspot and he could just plug up that way. That's how I would do it instead of taking on another uh, service contract. At any rate... You got the safety connect. Uh, so what is this stuff all about? Uh, drivers can be connected to our 24-7 response center. Okay, so it's like, you know, help and help center, basically. 
Uh, destination assist, if you need some help with that, it's an available feature, not standard. Uh, you got service connect, also an available feature. So this thing gives you data such as mileage, fuel level, and service history. And it'll give you maintenance alerts and stuff like that and maintenance reminders. Okay, this here, Toyota Safety Sense. This is their standard suite of safety equipment that comes on basically all their Toyota models. So you got the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. You got lane departure alert. You've got the automatic high beams. And you got dynamic radar cruise control. Okay, we got another thing here. Other features, safety and convenience features. You got the standard uh, backup camera. That's been a standard thing that's had to be in every new car since like 08, like I was saying, or something like that. You got the blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. It's an available feature. I'm all over that. Love that feature. Uh, here they're talking about their star safety feature uh, that includes vehicle stability control, traction control, anti-lock brakes, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, the Tundra comes with eight airbags. And the latch system, that's for buckling up car seats for, for kids and stuff like that. And then they have the no-cost maintenance plan and roadside assistance. So uh, for the first two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first for your maintenance. And 24-hour roadside assistance for two years, unlimited mileage. Okay, so we've gone through everything. We've learned about the 2021 Toyota Tundra. We've learned about its features. We've checked out the gallery. We've seen the exterior colors. We know all the configurations. We've seen their prices. Here they are again. Uh, we're gonna, Now it's time to do the build. So we're going to select our SR5. Okay, that's the deal there. And then we're going to go to the next step. So then after that, we're going to check our, let's see, go to cabs and bed. And I said we're going to get what? I said we're going to do a double cab. We're going to do a double cab with the 8.1-foot bed. That's the long bed, all right? Double cab, long bed. To me, that's the way to go. Okay, there's a side shot of our double cab, long bed. But so far, it's still uh, it's still two-wheel drive. So we've got to get some four-wheel drive on this thing. So now let's go on to powertrain. And now here on powertrain, this is where we select the 5.7-liter engine with four-wheel drive. And we can see that it looks like our 2021 Toyota Tundra SR5 is with the double cab long bed is standing up a little bit taller, getting a little bit better now. Okay, as far as colors are concerned, for exterior color, we, we went with the uh, we're going with the white. I'm not crazy about any of the colors, so we're just gonna go with the super white. For the interior, for the interior. It's all fabric. We don't have a choice, but we're going to go with the black fabric. So black fabric uh, and super white exterior. Okay, now let's go through packages. What do we want? Uh, these are just different things that you can get, like running boards and wheels and, and the deck rail system, which we saw that with the adjustable cleats and all that kind of stuff. Uh, hmm. Here's our base model. Here's our base TRD package right here, right? This is SR5 upgrade package right here. So we're going to go ahead and add that. That's a $5,000 option. It's big. The other option I like is the premium audio. I know it's expensive, but I'm into it. I want the audio system. Oh, what? What was that? How come that just removed one or the other? Did you see that? All right. Well, I guess that must be included in that. Audio plus high. There it is. It was right at the top. I just straight looked right over it didn't i all right so there it is there's our base model sr5 package that we got because you see it gets more expensive as you go up it gets more expensive as you go up with those trd packages you can go all the way up to seven thousand dollars on that but we're not going there right we're not going to go there uh so there it is the base the trd off-road package the base one and that comes with the audio so that's a five thousand dollar upgrade that was all there really was to be had on this page we're not going to get the running boards or anything like that so now let's check out the accessories okay here we are on the accessories page uh you could do some wheel locks if we wanted all whether floor liners uh you got the bed step there's the bed extender there's a bed mat um so far there's nothing out here that i'm really that's really grabbing me the mats are cool but again keep in mind that this is all stuff that you can go to the dealer Go to the parts department and pick up this stuff or order this stuff 
at any time. So that none of this is critical to the build per se. All right. This is just the finishing touches. And like I said, they don't have anything that's really jumping out at me. Uh, they have cool stuff, but yeah, I could probably skip all of it here. So yeah, the wheels, yeah, we already had that TRD air filter. They can skip that. The brake pads, your front skid plate, um, all that. There's your upgrade for your shocks and all that stuff. It is cool that you can have all these things, and these are some things I'd certainly want to come back for, like the sway bars and stuff like that. All right, so we've gone through all the accessories, but we didn't get anything. So now let's move on to the summary. Uh, where are we at? The starting MSRP was 38745 now we're sitting at $45,000. Why? Because we did our base TRD off-road package, which also gave us the audio upgrade. So, $45,000 truck. I still like this truck a lot. I think the, the I think the Tundra is a really really sweet vehicle for sure. Let's look at larger images, right? All this thing needs to do is be lifted and a little bit taller. And it'd be good to go. So on that uh, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Love the 2021 Tundra. Even though it's an older and the design is a little outdated. Just like Lexus, because Toyota is Lexus. They're, all, they're doing that too. They, but that's okay. They're still building a quality vehicle. I'm not saying it's a bad vehicle. I just say they're a little bit outdated. But they got all the kinks probably dialed out of this thing. And that's what's cool. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 uh, Toyota Tundra helpful uh, building price review helpful informative or entertaining please like share and subscribe to the channel other than that I'm going to tell you have a wonderful day and I will see you on the very next video